y'all. Hey, I was looking on some sour cream. Anyway, y'all done got ready for the night night. Yes, I have. Uh, to Taco Tuesday today, and I have to tell y'all about this little uh, hard shell thing here I got going on. Y'all, today to drink, I got this sparkling water. This was free in one of them free uh, Kroger downloads. I'm almost scared. Don't even seem like it froze a little bit. Had it in the refrigerator. I had left it on the counter, so I'm going to drink it today. It's a uh, AHA Lime Watermelon. I ain't no sparkling water fan. Let me taste it, y'all. Hey, do y'all drink these? I'm going to try it. Mm -mm. I don't like sparkling water. I know that I don't. Anyway, y'all, I have be some hard shell Dorito shell tacos, some cucumbers with some tahini on it, and just some pickled carrots. Yeah, so let me say my grace and I'll start talking. I got some news for you. Yeah. Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you for this day. I thank you for my many blessings, God. I thank you for the food that I'm about to receive, for the nourishment of my body. In Christ's name, amen. Oh, let me take that first bite. Mmm. And on these, I got lettuce, ground beef, taco meat, shredded cheese, sour cream, and salsa. I ain't had no tomatoes, and luckily, the salsa will do. Yeah, this will know from here. Um, I can't with this. <laughs> yeah, let's just set that over to the side. <laughs> anyway, y'all know I had been talking to y'all about me moving. And on the contract with a home. Well, y'all. The contract fell through. Hmm. Mm. I'll tell y'all what happened. We were originally supposed to close on the 29th of what was it? The 29th of December. So we had to ask the sellers because, of course, my loan company I went with, and I'm going to tell y'all about them too, was not um, ready on the 29th. They hadn't even started getting my file ready. When I tell y'all, I found I got them everything they needed right away, everything they asked for immediately. And... I don't know why this process took longer than it should have. So the sellers extended to the 15th, which was Friday. We didn't meet that date. The lender sent me the closure documents, the closure disclosure documents, what I was supposed to bring to the table and everything. And I signed those on Wednesday of last week. My realtor said we had to be 72 hours after you signed those before the loan could be funded. And by Monday being a holiday, that will be on Saturday. And by Monday being a holiday, they can't fund apparently on the weekend. And by Monday being a holiday, it will be Tuesday. She asked the sellers. She asked the realtor, the seller, the realtor for the seller. And the realtor said they absolutely would not sign a extension. So I wrote them a letter asking them if they could just at least sign for one more week. But my house was packed. 
I had given the least extension. I was looking forward to moving the home. I love the home. Blase, blase. But I understand their position. And I wish them blessings either way. You know, but I do understand. In the interim, my realtor called the finance guy who was extremely rude to them. Said, it is what it is. We'll get it when we get it. We can close Tuesday. <laughs> Their realtor called the finance person. He was adamant. The answer was no. We can get it Tuesday. In the meantime, the sellers are fed up with him and his attitude. He was extremely rude. And I talked to him on Thursday and I explained to him. I said, look, Alec, the sellers are going to walk. They're ready to let this contract go. And I said, I'm out of a lot of money. I don't have the money to lose. Y'all, at this point, I'm in a couple of thousand dollars, a little bit over a couple of thousand dollars. With appraisal, I had to have the appraisal, I had to go out twice. Because that had to be paid for to make sure that the whatever the uh, uh, repairs were fixed. I had the inspection. Then I paid my lease out fee. I didn't know if I was going to get that back or not, y'all. And I know how these apartments work. Once you give your vacate notice, they have people on the waiting list to get into these apartments. I didn't know if my apartment was going to be leased out or committed to somebody else or not. So, yesterday morning... I got a text from my realtor and she said, Donna, I'm so sorry. She said, but they put the house back on the market and they accept, accepted a cash offer. My brother seemed to think they had something lined up already. I don't know. I can't say. I can honestly say I was disappointed because I was looking forward to moving. But I have learned to trust God in everything. Y'all, when I tell y'all, I didn't even cry about it. I was I was calm about it. I was just calculating in my head. And so my brother, who's funny, he said, uh, my sister-in-law had called me on Friday and asked about it. And my younger one of my younger sisters, she's going to start a channel too, y'all. When she starts, she does these deals. And I, I'm going to put her link for y'all to support her. But she um, called me yesterday. And my brother said, look. Y'all, I really had in my heart. I'm like, I'm not really ready to move. I don't have anything against Mississippi, but I just kind of stayed want to stay in Tennessee for right now. And my brother said, look, enough is enough. You need to go with a new bill. Y'all, I don't know how many people, even some of y'all, <laughs> even some of y'all out there said, Donna, go with a new bill. But you know, I just had in my head, I'm going to stay in Tennessee. I'm going to stay in Tennessee and a new bill's here just a little bit out of my price range. Then the threes and stuff. And I'm like, I don't want to pay that much for no house. I don't need that for me. And so he said, you just go down there and you get you a bill. And y'all, when I was ready to make the decision to make go with the bill, I went with this house. I had pretty much said, I'm going to go down to Mississippi and that's it. And then I went with this house. It just seemed to be perfectly aligned. Y'all, I'm going to tell y'all. She called me yesterday, I mean, and texted me yesterday and told me they decided to go with a cash offer. So, it's ironic, y'all. Sunday morning, I woke up a little late. I don't know why I keep picking that stuff up, because I know it's nasty. And I clicked on YouTube when I woke up. And I was going to watch this investment video by Chris Sain. I did eventually watch the video. But his video was, Great Community Temple video was first. His video was second. I clicked on his video. It was either or. I don't know which one. And all I heard him say was, what's up, YouTube? You know, his, his interest. And I'm like, something, I know what number God. Say, so go back and watch Greater Community Temple. So I clicked off the video. And I went back out to home and Greater Community Temple, I think, was the first or second video still. So I clicked on that. And if y'all not familiar with Greater Community Temple, I listen to them a lot on radio. And Bishop Brandon B. Porter. 
but he wasn't talking. And I had missed predominantly all of the service, basically. This gentleman got up there, and I don't think this was intended to be a testimony service. I don't think it was. He got up there, and he was just giving his talking. And I came in. I don't even know if I sure I heard his whole portion. But I heard what God needed me to hear. I, um, he, um, was talking about, His situation with cancer and brain having had brain surgery on his head a couple of times to eradicate the cancer. And he was talking about the testimony on how his flight was delayed and he ended up in the hospital, never getting back to Memphis like his plan was, where he was. How he found out. But he was talking about how we as Christians know all the right things to say. We have faith and we believe God. But we'll say it and say it and say it. He's saying you just have to really stand firm and believe it. And know that God is going to have you covered. You have to trust him. And one thing I've learned over many years is that when something don't happen, you have to accept what God allows. When things don't happen, it's the arch of protection God got over you. You may have some disappointment, but God stopped this for a reason. And although the house was fine and nice, it may be a reason why I wasn't supposed to be over there. That I can't see that God has taught. And it may not even be that. It may be That may be somebody else's blessing. So, so I said, I got to believe God, I got to trust God in all of this, regardless of whatever. And so, I just remember doing my devotion, and I said, you know, God, whatever your will is, I'm going to trust you. And... I don't know if I was talking to my brother. I said, I don't even know what's going to happen with this lease money. I don't even know what's going to happen with my lease. And my daughter said, Mama, you know you can come over here. But my daughter has, she lives in a townhouse and all her bedrooms, both her bedrooms are upstairs. The bathroom, the full bath is upstairs. She said, that's going to be the problem for you. It's more stairs over here than it is at your house. To even get in the door. And I say, yeah, baby, I know. I'll figure something out. That'll be my last resort. If push comes to shove. So, oh, this one's about to fall apart right here. Mm. This is good. So, I called my apartments today. Didn't get an answer. I didn't leave a message. And I said, well, I tried to call them again later to explain what the situation is. And keep in mind, I just paid my rent up through the 29th because the 29th was my 60 day. I was supposed to be out here on January 29th. And I called them again. No answer. I said, it's unlike them. Not to be up in their office. I think the fourth time I called, some sort of leave a message. And I did. So I left the message. And she called me back about 20 minutes later. And she said, yeah. And I told her, you know who I was. She said, yeah, Donna. And... I told her what the situation was, and of course she said, oh, I'm so sorry. I've been a tenant over here a while. I've been a good tenant. She said, Donna, this is ironic. She said, your lease, your apartment was already leased. She said, but they decided to go with a townhouse instead. <laughs> she said, I got six people in line for your apartment. 
She said, but they just decided not to go with your apartment. She said, yours is one of the only ones that's available on this property. She said, I had people waiting on me. She said, of course you can stay. I'll show you how good God is, y'all. You just don't know. I couldn't help. I mean, I think that was the first time I actually broke down and cried because I just went to praise God. Because I know God got his hands on my life. Oh, I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm so sorry. But y'all just went to thanking and praising God because he is so good. And she said, of course, she said, do you want to go ahead and sign a 12-month lease? And I said, no, I don't. I said, my original lease is up in May. I said, so if you could just, she said, that's right, you paid the lease. I heard the fee. I said, but I didn't pay my rent up until the 20th. I didn't even ask for my money back, y'all. I didn't even ask for it. I didn't care. She said, God is so good, y'all. You just don't know. And she said, of course you can stay. She said, I'm going to send you an email. And you reply to the email saying you want to cancel your early termination. She said, you can just keep your lease. I said, I'm still looking for a home. She said, you can just stay to your end of your lease and you can decide then if you hadn't found anything. She said, but, oh, God, thank you. She said, and your money? I said, well, what do I need to do about the other two days in January? I need to pay that. She said, no, ma'am. She said, your money? And she said, that's a credit. She said, you're going to have a credit for February. She said, that'll come out of your what you paid to end your lease, which was a thousand and something dollars, y'all. She said, and it's going to be put on your February rent. She said, you'll have until March to give us another 60-day notice if you find something else, and you won't even probably have to pay the lease termination fee. If I get a new bill, of course, it's going to take a longer than that. Oh, y'all, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I just am so thankful. God is so good. God is good, y'all. And if you don't know, you need to get to know him because I'm telling you, he will cover you. Y'all, I won't be going with that loan company. I'm going to reapply for another place because it's just a cavalier attitude of not caring about me and I understand that it's a numbers business. He's not a business to care. It's not a people business. But you didn't care enough to see what I'm telling you. I have money on the line that I can't afford to lose. But I know God is going to take care of all of that. He's going to bless me with that money back tenfold. And I just believe that. Oh, I'm a mess, y'all. I'm so sorry. God is good, y'all. I can tell you. I So I got my apartment boxes are everywhere <laughs> in my room in my living room i had bought two new bar stools well they wasn't new i bought them used off of, uh facebook marketplace uh they sitting in my living room for my new place i got new stuff i had bought for my house it's still gonna be used but i thank god i just thank god and it turned out the way it did and i'm not gonna dwell on that house i'm at peace I'm at peace about it. But, and this company I use, and somebody may have a good experience with them. I don't know. But even in my next situation, I won't be using them. I'm going to uh, reapply and get pre-approved for a new company, a local company. But this company was called Long Cabin. If you had a great experience with them, I wish, hey, good. But I don't recommend using them. I will say that. Because of the disconnect and the total, you know, just cavalier attitude like you need us, we don't need you. You know, so anyway, that's enough, but that's what's going on with me. Am I going to unpack this house? I tell y'all I'm not. I'm going to unpack the bare minimal. My kitchen does definitely because I don't have nothing out. I have six seasonings out. I'm going to have to unpack some things in there, but I'm going to pack it, unpack as less as possible. And I'm just going to live in these box situations because it took me forever to pack. You know, it's not like I'm moving around 
good and I'm hoping to have a surgery, the sleeve surgery beforehand. I don't have a date, so I still got to go through some processes with that, you know, before I move. So I don't want to unpack everything and then be packing everything back up. And I have some stuff in the bathroom that I absolutely got to unpack, but I'm going to live with the bare minimum. And until, and I'm going to try to get my brother over here to help me uh, move most of those boxes into the other bedroom and just stack them up in there so they won't be all over the place because right now they're everywhere. I thank y'all for your prayers, for your encouragement, your support, your continued encouragement. And as y'all can see, I've been through a roller coaster with this house hunt. And <laughs> this is the second contract I've been under. One I left, one the sellers left. So I just know what's right for me, God will bless me with. When it's time. And I've learned some lessons and I've learned even more patience. And one thing I was praying about was God helped me to increase my faith, you know. And He has, you know, just the little things that you wonder why things don't go like you. Have in your head that they're going to go. But it just don't happen like that sometimes. I know I went on and on today, y'all. And I'm sorry for crying like a baby. Y'all know I'm a cry, baby. Y'all want to share with y'all something. It's been two years, so it's been time for me to... It's going to seem like two years went by that fast. Well, it's actually two years in next month. So, I really need to go more than I should. I should go every year and get my eyes checked, but I don't. Anyway, my prescriptions were very close, so he still told me I could wear my old glasses. And my brother was laughing. He said, you're the only person I know be paying like that for glasses. But, y'all, seeing is important to me. That's one of my top priorities. So, I, even though I do, I haven't had contacts in years, but I got to have my glasses now. So, I have several pair of glasses already. I actually got these frames from a Glasses USA when I got my last pair. I got my great pair at the optometrist. And I got these pair of glasses USA. I'm not sponsored by them all. This is of my own money. So I always get a pair of glasses from the optometrist. I get the deluxe version. I get the progressive, the transition lenses, and the thin lenses, and blah, blah, blah. So these be, end up be costing me about almost 300 on. These glasses are expensive. Anyway, these are frames I got from the doctor's office. So, something a little different. Because I've noticed that I pick similar frames. And these are similar too. So, But these are the ones I got from the doctor's office. And these are actually transitions that will turn into shades. Like, you know, I have a few pair of those. My gray pair. And I got a brown pair and a black pair. That's transition. So. <clears throat> and these are the two pair that I got from Glasses USA. Now, I like Glasses USA, but somebody was telling me something about that Fermo company. Y'all, this is my, uh, I really like these. They like, a, I don't know if y'all could really see it, but it's blue in the frame, blue flecks in the frame, and like brown as well. I really like these. And I, I generally just, just order me a couple of pair for, um, uh, just to have, and these just a standard pair. There's nothing special about them. I did get the uh, the frames to be thin because, you know, I have a strong prescription. Oh, I forget. guess if I put these back in here right. I'm real discombobulated. Anyway, I know y'all ain't got time to be waiting on me to show y'all these glasses. And these are the other pair. I've had a pair like this several times. They're just a little old standard pair of glasses. I think I got a pair like this now. Still. But these are these. So, yeah. That's my re-up on the glasses. And I told her 
um, because they only cover frames, and I think I was a little early on my frames for this, so I ended up paying a little bit more out of pocket. But I like to deal with them because one thing I like to deal with places with my one main pair for, with my insurance for a reason. They cover the lenses and stuff, and the eye exams and stuff like that. But I um because I don't like to be having to put in paperwork and reimbursement. So that's one of the reasons why. But I ordered me some extra ones because, like I say, seeing is top priority for me. And uh yeah, uh oh. Uh, so if one, and then I change them up when I get tired of wearing a pair, I'll change it up and wear another pair. And it'll be a couple of more years before I re-up like that again. Because I got plenty of glasses. I shouldn't, I don't think I should destroy about, I got about 10 pair of glasses. I shouldn't destroy about 10 pair, I don't think now. Uh, some of them are a little bit regularer than others though. But I can see. Because you don't want me on the road without my glasses, my spectacles. But I told her next year I probably will just get some contacts. And I should have gotten some this time, but I didn't. Because, oh, y'all, with these masks and this, I don't know how long we're going to be wearing masks. Probably a long time. When you go and you wear glasses and they're breathing and your glasses get fogged up, it's just a real headache. But anyway, I'll keep y'all abreast of what's going on with my house situation. When I get back under another contract, you know I'm going to let y'all know. You know I'm going to share, which I'm sharing this journey with you. And, uh, oh, y'all, this is enough for me, y'all. I'm going to have to find me something else to drink, some lemonade or something. But anyway, I thank y'all for joining me and stopping by and spending time with me. Are y'all having tacos this Taco Tuesday? I hope y'all are having a, dish, uh, a, a delicious meal either way. I want you to know you're loved. I love you, but God truly loves you the most. Remember to always be kind to yourself and others. Be joyful and be blessed. Love y'all. I'll see y'all later this week. Bye.